the release of 82 Chibok school girls from the captivity of the Boko Haram was facilitated by the International Red Cross and various civil society organizations. This development has attracted appreciation and commendations from different quarters, including the House Committee on Internally Displaced Persons. The chairman of the Committee on IDPs, Hassa Maman Barguma, and his vice, Abdurrahman Isa Abubakar, appreciated the administration of President Muhammad Buhari for fulfilling part of his campaign promises. Personally, I have to commend the effort of the president, the effort of the federal government of Nigeria, the effort of the, the government of the APC to bring back our case, which uh, is uh, being led by uh, as a basically humanitarian bodies like the International Red Cross Society, uh, other government functionaries like. Uh, uh, the Nigerian Air Force, the Nigerian Army, and the whole military in putting hands together and efforts to see that its workers are available. Thank the President for the promise assured. He promised us that in the northeast that he is going to give us security, and definitely he has did his best. But uh, when, and secondly, let me pray and, and also call all the Nigerians to pray for the president for his full speedy recovery. The House Committee on Internet Displaced Persons is also optimistic that the remaining Chibok girls and older people in the captivity of Boko Haram will be released soon. This positive development is not unconnected with the swap deal adopted by the federal government, the Switzerland government and International Red Cross among other organizations who facilitate the release of the Chibu girls. Abdullahi Ibrahim, 2-6 News.